Hey guys and welcome to another first impressions video. Today we are looking at Space Station Sprint which is a level based first person shooter which has a very arcadey feel. The idea is that you go through and you complete objectives in a certain amount of time and get back to your space dock to get back to your ship safe and sound before they even know you're there. It's a certainly an interesting concept and I like it and I want to like this game. Unfortunately as it is I can't. There are there's too many weird things going on with it and a few like other sites that make this game not that fun. That being said, we're going to look at it anyway and you guys can make your own mind up. Uh, we're going to look at the options first. Uh, your gameplay wise, pretty standard. Invert aim, controller vibration, enable enemy HP bars, aim sensitivity. You will need to turn this up. Um, and I will demonstrate that in the game later on because using a controller, which I would... <sighs> Keyboard and mouse is obviously better for FPS games. Me, personally, I can't do it. I've never been able to do it. Put a controller in my hand, I can do FPS piece of piss. It's horses for courses. However, using a controller with your aim sensitivity down or at default, not playable. Um, and I will show you why in game as well. And then I like this. You can choose your, your weapon reticle as well. Which is purely cosmetic. It doesn't actually help you at all. But I like the fact that you can do that. Video wise, nothing. There really should be something here, but nothing. You can at least um, lock your frame rate. If you so desire or have it unlimited. You've got enable AA. And full screen mode. So it starts in boardless full screen, which is really, really nice. I wish more games would do that. And then your audio levels. Now, it is worth noting that your the music in this game is very loud when you start it up. But it's also very good. It's a very nice soundtrack. I, I'm a fan of it. But they could probably, I don't know, maybe start it a little bit quieter than what you load into it. You've then got your level select. You've got stats, which is... I, I don't know why it's leveled. I don't know what you get for leveling it. That's not really what I'd consider a stat page. Um, but there you go. And then you've got credits and you can continue. So you've got your, your story or your new mode, your campaign mode, which is where you basically just go in and you do these levels and you go on and you on and you on and you go until the end. And that is what we're going to jump into. So... First thing I will say is that loading time is very, very quick. Uh, I'm going to show you what I mean by the aim sensitivity to start. We're going to turn it all the way down to about default, which was, I think it was at one. I think one was its default level. And this is again using controller. So this is something you're going to need to bear in mind, right? Resume. That is, that is, that is how, how quickly I move and turn. It is... It is dismal. It's not good. What's worse is the fact that you you seem to be moving a lot quicker, but if you turn your aim sensitivity down, it takes so long to turn. And yet you're moving forward and backwards really, really quickly, which is really disconcerting. Um, so I turn it up to about two, three-ish. Um, but if you go too far, then it, it's the complete other way, and it made me really nauseous, right? So if we put it up to way beyond three... You, you, you start turning around and, and it's it's just chaos. It, it's, it's disorienting as fuck. So generally what I will say is move it down a little bit to around three. So you've got a decent amount of aim speed, especially with the controller, but it's not too bad. Now, the time is constantly going down. So this is going to start me up again, um, which is fine. I'll let the timer run. The... Restart, it comes up telling you what to press to restart, but you can't do it until, like, here, right? And you'll notice with the reload animation as well, everything seems sped up. And I don't quite know what it is that's causing it. It, it just... It feels like everything's out of sync. It, it, I just... I don't know. I don't know why the reload speed is at a rate of knots, yet... It just... it It's out of sync, and it, it's a bit... It's a bit nauseating, I'm not going to lie. Like, quick reload speed in the game is, is great and all, but 9 times out of 10, it's um, it's done as like a 
a bonus you know you you speed yourself up with with perks and stuff whereas this is just default the other thing i've got wrong with the game is i'm sure you're already aware is that the enemies are just bullet sponges um i think you can get different weapons in the game i hope you can get different weapons in the game uh you don't really seem to be leveling yourself up i think you can get bonuses as you go around but with how much time you don't get you can't really like there's no way of mowing your way through these enemies and killing everything to get the objective and get out again because everything just takes far far too long now as you've seen you can get you know boosters you can get time boosters if needed i think i've gone the completely wrong way here um but you don't get a lot of time like at all and that is made really apparent by the fact of just how many bullets it takes to kill an enemy. The other issue I've got with the game is gunplay. Like, the feel of the gun is horrendous. Um, even if you've got vibration switched on, it just it doesn't feel satisfying to use. It's not... The, the, the gun itself isn't fun. And I don't know if you are able to unlock other ga guns in the game. You've got a grenade, which again, just is lackluster. It doesn't do a lot of damage. It doesn't do a lot of anything. Um, so it feels like you're, you're kind of taking a wet blanket. You're taking a stupid amount of damage from these enemies. And yet, you're not really dealing a huge amount of damage to these enemies. So it feels very disproportionate. But again, the game has a ton of promise like i could see this being very very fun i can see you going through this if the gunplay was better if the you know the acceleration on the the mouse if if everything just or controller in my place if everything just felt a bit better i could see this being a ton of fun now you do have this weird sort of slow-mo mode which i can't really see a good reason for having it because like if you slow down then you're gonna lose right and if you go the wrong way then you've, you've lost anyway right so i don't know the, the slow-mo just seems a bit pointless in this game i can see how it could maybe get you out of one or two scrapes but honestly it's more of a more of a burden than a help especially when you press it on the controller um when you press your left button your left stick in to run like you do on most other shooters this actually slows you down which is not ideal so yeah do i think this game has the potential to be incredibly fun where you could spend maybe not hours but a decent amount of time like fucking about doing these arcadey type areas and completing the uh the objective yes do i think it needs some work oh 100 the gunplay needs to be better the movement needs to feel smoother because it's so janky and you move so quickly all of the time it, it can be nauseating for people it certainly was for me when i was messing around with the um with the settings trying to get it right no minimap either and like you've got these objectives to do with very very little time and with the enemies being so bullet spongy like I'm playing a shooter. I don't want to avoid most of the enemies to get to the weird objective to get out. I'm playing a shooter. I want to sit and shoot stuff. And I want to feel powerful doing it. And I do not feel powerful doing it in this game. Which is a shame. Because I want to feel powerful doing it in this game. So that is... that. That's my feeling on it, really. I, I can't recommend it in its current state. Um, it runs and it runs smooth, which is good for it, but I just, I don't know, I feel like the gunplay, with it being such a key part of a game like this, is also letting it down in a game like this, and that's not something that you can really have in an FPS, unfortunately. It would be nice if that wasn't the case, but here we are. So there you have it guys, go and check it out, let me know what you think. Let me know if this is the game for you. Let me know if you're willing to try it out. Let me know if there is another game that you would possibly be interested in. Or let me know if you would play this. Yeah, so I got an upgrade from that. 
And I think I keep the upgrade, so sprint speed's all good. But yeah, on the whole, potential very high execution lackluster. It needs it needs polish. As so many of the games that I test and review, it just needs polish. It just needs a bit of TLC. It needs a bit of time spent on it. The gunplay needs improving. The movement needs improving. The gun feel needs improving. The gun damage needs improving. The just just everything needs improvement, honestly, which is a shame. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video. Comment in the section down below whether you liked the review or liked my video. And a subscribe if you haven't already. We recently hit 750 subs, which is fantastic. Thank you so, so much for that. And uh, I shall see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Ciao, ciao.